Please welcome our good friend Grant Kemmerer from Pennsylvania's Wild World of Animals. Come on out here, Grant. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hi. Who have we got here? This is Patrick, and that is Simon. Although, oh, two boys. Well, not really. What do you mean? Well, you can't just look at them. They don't have what's called sexual dimorphism, where you can just look at them and tell the difference. Everything is internal, so you actually have to do a DNA test. And when Are that you was, serious? Yeah, when that was performed on Patrick, Patrick is actually Patricia. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Tell us something, that's something I didn't know about penguins. Tell us something else that I don't know. Well, <laughs> as little as you might believe this, they're actually a pretty difficult animal to work with. Really? Yeah, they, they seem can, great, very agreeable. Well, they can actually, they actually have nasty little temperaments. And you see those, those uh, pectoral fins right there? They will actually beat you with them. <laughs> <laughs> they will grab you by the beak and beat you with them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... You know, you just stepped in their poop. Oh, that's okay. okay. All right. These aren't my shoes. Oh. <laughs> oh, can I touch them? Um, she is going to assist oh, you with okay. that. Now, go ahead. Now, feel the oil oh, in my coat? Yes. Yeah, isn't that amazing? I'm going to endear you to them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How do I feed them? Grab it by the tail. Oh, stench. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hold it a little bit higher. Oh, oh you're going to get, okay. Well, what? Tell uh, me before you. Well, no, no, don't want them to fall off. Go ahead and hold it right like that. Oh, God. Uh, here, you take it right there. Oh, okay. uh, do you want me to take yeah, it? Yeah, I want you to take it. I want you to feed them. Okay, all right, calm down. Now, touch, there you go. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and feed one wow. as well. <laughs> there you go. Now, Okay. Look at the size. Go ahead, grab another. Okay, no, no, I don't want to overfeed because we've no. got another animal coming out. Let's him finish. Oh, go ahead. Let's, okay, here you go, here you go. Here you go. All right. And believe it or not, you, look how big this is in comparison to them. They could actually eat something three quarters the size of their body. They got good appetites, I'll tell yeah. you that. All right, guys, you continue eating. What have we got over here now, Patrick? Now, what we have over here... This is Flory, and he is a four-year-old snowy owl. And by the way, the, the penguins, by the way, you can actually have a, an encounter with them at the uh, National Aviary in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I'm from and where oh, these nice. birds are from. Okay, so tell us about Snowy. Flory, uh, I'm sorry. Flory, Flory, yeah, he is four years old. It's a snowy owl. This is the largest owl in North America okay. by weight. All right. And now, if, will he follow me? He will. Actually, what he'll do, and these guys are amazing, they have the ability to, to rotate their head about 270 degrees. Wow. Here, if you come around here, maybe make some noise. Just make something. Well, my, meow, 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 meow. Uh, now he's, he's just kind of interested. He's just in totally theory. disinterested. Okay. But basically, their eyes are so large and surrounded by bone, they can't move them. Uh, proportionally, if our eyes were as large as theirs, ours would be like the size of a grapefruit. But they have great ears, right? They can hear. Unbelievable yeah, hearing. Yeah. And, and great vision, too. And, of course, they see perfectly well during the day. A lot of people think that they're blind during the day. That's not true at all. But during the day, they could see something as small as a rabbit from about a mile away. Wow. Now, and one little factoid that I learned about owls, they're actually not wise at all. They're relatively... Dim-witted. Exactly. Yes. They were you the didn't know that. But yeah, they no, are. it's true. It's, it's true. true. And that's, it's, a, it's something that's just lived in perpetuity. But in actuality, they were the companion animal of the goddess of wisdom, Athena. So it has to do with Greek mythology, oh, okay. not their intelligence. Well, not to insult you, Flory. But yeah. the next animal that's coming out actually likes to eat birds. So we'll get yes. Flory in the back. <laughs> the penguins are safe, I hope. Penguins are safe. All right, safe. let's bring out the next animal. Oh, oh my God! You don't have any more fish smell on your hands, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I do. Does that matter? <laughs> You're okay. No, okay. she won't eat fish. Now, That's... this little animal is named Lucille. This is Lucille because she has a lot of red in her coat, so hence Lucille oh, Ball. Oh, Lucille Ball! <laughs> and this Hi, is sweetheart. a lynx. This is a Siberian lynx. Hi, Don't you come honey. right in there. I'm gonna let you pet her. Uh, she won't bite, right? No, I got Hi. my hand right there too. Now, she's not purring, I think, as we're sitting here, but she does have the ability to purr, which differentiates her from big cats. So that's e why she's called a little cat, even though she'll grow to be pretty big. Yeah, she grows. These guys can hit 100 pounds. Woo! Okay. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. Now, what we're going to do, though... That's not okay. <laughs> we're going to move her up to the table. I just pooped my pants, all right? So... There you go. Forget about the penguins. <laughs> you can just keep holding her. Yeah. <laughs> now, believe it or not. We're going to feed her? Well, maybe not now. <laughs> okay. She probably isn't going to care about food okay. right now. But look at the size of those feet. They're huge. They're huge giant So she's going to grow into those feet? Yeah, well, they will continue to stay proportionally large because basically she uses she's them to... She's looking at the penguins. <laughs> she's eyeing the penguins. Better, better, than, better than, than you. Yes, look at the penguins. Look over at the penguins. I know. Should we ask her to leave? Uh, yeah, yeah I we think, can ask I her to leave. I, Lucille, you're lovely. <laughs> All right. All right. She, we have, and I love a cat, but that's scary because they can, you know. Well, yeah, they can. Okay. But, you know, we're not, we're not talking right. about her. Well, let's bring out our last animal, very appropriate to the season. Come on out. 
Now this last animal, by the way, we had to take Lucille off because. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hi. Lucille will actually Lucille prey. Lucille will eat this? Yeah. And this animal is, is half the size it will be as an adult. Wow. Now take a look. This is a reindeer for That's those reindeer, of you who. Yeah. And Aww. these are what he will eventually grow into. Oh my gosh. Now, wow. And at what point do they learn to fly? Is that early on or is that? <laughs> <laughs> Try flying with these things. Like, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, she, now, how old is this? He is seven months old. Wow. His name is Sven. Another animal. Look at the size of the Oh, the Sven feet, after the, the reindeer in, in Frozen. Yeah, I think so. Aw, <laughs> how cute is that? <laughs> Their coat is amazing. There is an amazing thick downy undercoat. And then on the outside here, these guard hairs are actually hollow. They're filled with air, so it helps to insulate them. Wow. So it's, you always bring interesting animals. Yeah. So these are the perfect ones for the holidays, right? Grant Kemmerer, thank you so much. Hi, baby doll. Thanks for all of our animals. For more information on all of these animals, go to MeredithTheAirShow.com.